Pop culture, from Elvis to Tupac. It's not a course just about music. It's a media literacy course covering most of the major media in turn. Music, cinema, visual art, advertising, television. En route, the course examines how the media, even as they excite, delight, and mesmerize us, also perpetuate and even encourage ideas that oppress and destabilize all of us. Racism and sexism, militarism and fear, ending with the pinnacle of pop paranoia, the realm of conspiracy theories. It's not a course about your favorite download, your iPod, or the weirdest thing you've seen on YouTube. It's a critical course that examines how, as Marshall McLuhan put it, pop culture both enhances your life and your access to information, yet also massages you into complacency and compulsive consumerism. McLuhan said, we know that at some point in time, somebody discovered water, but we know that it wasn't a fish. He means that all pervasive environments, such as the water-like media that surround us, are virtually undetectable. This means that we have little or no idea of the extent to which the media mess with us on a daily basis. Pop culture, as a political course, addresses the perennial truth that, in addition to this massage, popular culture has, since at least the time of the Romans, had a primary and well-known political purpose to distract and appease the common man and woman. So, while serving the positive goal of keeping us happy and off the streets, media serve to take our attentions away from world issues such as war, poverty and oppression that might cause us to be discontented and to complain. Knowing and truly understanding these critical world issues would keep us away from our primary purpose as citizens, to work and to consume. Thus, pop culture does not inform, it merely entertains. If you are not interested in learning about how a commercial designed by Madison Avenue advertising executives made you want those diva jeans, or how watching Nelly pointing to his sneakers actually put you in the store, dropping 150 bucks, this course is not for you. If you disagree with the obvious truth that Hollywood and television have fostered racism, sexism, militarism, classism, and conspicuous consumption, right from their very beginnings. Perhaps this course is not for you. If you are interested in exploring in depth and writing a passionate essay about one of the great icons of our culture, such as Tupac, or Kennedy, or Marilyn Monroe, Martin Luther King, or Oprah Winfrey, her semiotic symbolism and meaning, her impact, and her effect on your own life, then pop culture is for you. Pop culture, from Elvis to Tupac, it's not a course just about music.